Right, so today we're going to be learning about uh, more landforms, landforms from deposition. In this case, it's going to be floodplains, levees, and estuaries. Okay, um, so you will a uh, little connect activity there for you to have a look at uh, to get you started. What does the image show you about how rivers shape their their valleys? So pay, pay particular attention to all these scars on the land. Based on the last lesson you did on meanders, why would those scars exist, and why is that land so so flat? So you can have a you can have a look at that. Okay, but today you're looking at floodplain. So floodplain, this is for the River Dordogne in France. You can see there's some steepish uh, hills either side, but this bit in the middle, this flat area of land, brilliant farmland, you can see there, lots of farming taking place there on those fertile floodplains, really wide, um, expansive land either side of the river. Um, how do we get that that landform? Uh, plus the levees, which is a French word, uh, and uh, then we'll have a look at estuaries at the at the end. So you can see there uh, another floodplain, really flat area of land. This ridge running along here, uh, that is a levee. Okay, so that embankment either side of the river, they're built up by deposition. And I'm going to show you how in a in a moment. You, and during most periods, the river will be within the within the river banks. This little activity is for you to draw a sketch. Uh, so just a little reminder how to do that. Uh, don't forget you draw yourself a frame. You draw some of the the main outlines and features. I've drawn the uh, the river on there. I've drawn the outline edge of the the ridge. I've tried to put a few lines on for relief features. I've had a little bit of vegetation. Uh, but when that goes, you've got a you've got a nice sketch, and then you could label up the levee and the and the flood plume. Okay, so that's an example of uh, an example of a label. So uh, flood plains are created purely by by deposition. Um, we do get uh, lateral erosion from meanders that flattens out the floodplain. Um, but if you can imagine, there you go, we've got our river. Um, in, in our river valley, it will meander side to side, cut into the sides through hydraulic action and abrasion. Um, and, you know, it will it will flatten that out. Um, but during normal conditions, it stays within its, within its channel. During a flood, um, the floodplain's inundated and the sediment is carried away from the channel and the larger sediment will be deposited first as the river loses energy and slows down the big stuff gets dropped the finer stuff will be dropped further further away over long periods of time that means we get multi-layered floodplains with the fine stuff further away from the channel bigger stuff close to the channel the big stuff builds up into those mounds which we call levees or large natural embankments. Um, the smaller stuff is layered further away. There you can see that process in, in action. Okay, so that's a flood, and you can see how much sediment there is in the water. It's really filthy during that flood, and that what that sediment will be dropped and deposited onto the onto the floodplain, building up its its level. And then for your estuaries, okay, these are another deposition feature, and they occur during the um, at the, at the mouth of the river as the river approaches the mouth um, it will slow down as it approaches the sea the salinity will also increase because the river slows down depositions increased okay the river becomes uh, less efficient the bigger sediments will be dropped first and other ones further away and that builds up sediment and land out to sea and possibly islands as well okay um, so the islands there in the middle of the channel, or bars, as they're known, and then uh, layers of sediment can build up a marsh out to sea, uh, various sets of beds of, of sediment. Okay. Last thing, uh, the, it will create some mudflats as well, and those will be exposed at low low tide. Um, and obviously dynamic environment, so where the sea is, we can get erosion there as well. Here you can see the River X estuary. Um, and if you look, you can see clear mud flats and sandbars and and so on on the on the estuary. It's spread right out. Uh, we've got various little different islands as well, where the river's split up into separate channels. Um, and here another sort of creek system within the within the mud flats. So you do get uh, you know salt tolerant plants and salt marsh ecosystems generated within our estuary environment. So your task um, is to Annotate a set of diagrams like this, okay, 
explaining how meandering rivers can make the valley wider, create a layered floodplain, and create levees. There's some key words that you should try and get into your labels and explanations. See a little challenge, see if you can get all of them into your explanation. Okay, and you might want to pop a few onto the 3D diagram as well. For the estuaries, um, I've popped a little flowchart activity onto the worksheet. So you can use a flowchart to try and turn some of these labels into an explanation of how estuaries are created. And if you want to finish up with this, you can finish up with a little Quizlet, uh, Quizlet test. Um, there's scatter games and all sorts on there.